Hey guys, what's going on? So in the video today, I decided to just make sort of a fun video. Uh, this one's been one that I've been meaning to make for like probably a year now. <laughs> I wanted to just get all my brown fuzzy boots together and sort of compare them, contrast them, uh, go over the differences, talk about the brands, talk about the fit, talk about the style, talk about just everything that I love about them all. Textured leather is not all the same. There's various variations. It's really a continuum, if that makes sense. There is no one single type of brown fuzzy leather or any one type of fuzzy leather for that matter. Because when you get started, it's like, oh, I don't have a textured pair of brown boots like that. You know, I have the smooth brown, but I don't have the textured brown. And then you start collecting and then you start realizing like, oh, there's, there's different types of textured brown boots that shows different types of wear over time and it's just really interesting and, and some are more waxed, some are more oiled, some have more rough out, some are shaved down to be smoother, be more of a micro suede sort of a consistency. Yeah, so I'm just going to navigate all my fuzzy brown boots that I've collected up till now. These were my t first two uh, fuzzy brown boots. This is the very first, so this is my the Alden Roy boot in reverse tobacco chamois. What really got me was Context Clothing ran these. Unfortunately, I just learned uh, recently that Context Clothing is no longer in business, but they were one of my favorite shops to look at online. They did some of the best photography work, particularly on the Alden Roy boot. They ran the Alden Roy boot, which is just their standard plain toe on the military last year. They did this in brown chrome XL. They did it in this reverse tobacco chamois. They did it in snuff suede. And then they did one also in earth chamois. Earth chamois is closer to this color. It's so dark, it's such a dark brown that it almost looks black. At the time, I was very new to buying Alden and I was thinking my collection's almost up. What can I get? I got these and they were just a dream come true. They, they originally came on a crepe sole, all weather walker sole. I actually didn't end up liking that all weather walker sole. So um, it, it started to sort of separate over time and just get sort of a uh, gunky and ratty looking over time. So I had my cobbler, cobbler, sunny resole these with JR leather soles. So now they're like super comfortable and in my opinion, more durable and more attractive. Chamois is the original oiled Nubuck and a Horween classic. Taking advantage of the velvety snuffed grain of the snuffed suede base, Chamois is generously nourished with a rich blend of natural oils to create a rich oily feel and a natural look. Yes, very much a, an oily feel, that is for sure. So yeah, so that was my first and this is just the craziest fuzzy brown boot you'll ever have. There were pictures of the of these on Instagram. It's it's like a nice beautiful chocolate brown but a heavily oiled chamois which is basically a heavily oiled rough out leather from Horween. Horween makes this and in my opinion chamois, I talk about how I love Stead's Rambler a lot. Rambler is probably my favorite leather from Charles F. Stead. My, probably my favorite leather from, uh, from Horween though is gonna be this stuff, the chamois. I love it. I love shell, don't get me wrong. I love chromic cell, I love waxed flesh, but there's just something really tremendous about chamois. I really think it's got a... Is that your dog? <laughs> Daddy, you yeah. won't even let me have a dog, so I does have this. <laughs> That's my, that's my fake dog. You won't let me have a puppy. We'll have a big farm one day. What about a puppy? Yep, we'll get some puppies. Yay. <laughs> All right, so the next pair up that I got after the Roy boots was I convinced myself, okay, Truman, they were talking up this Java wax flesh so much. And I said, you know what? Initially I said, no, I have the reverse tobacco chamois. In my mind at the time, the chamois already checked the waxed flesh box. Now both these leathers are from Horween. I decided, okay, I can justify it if I get it in a cap toe design, then I can get the Java Wax Flesh Trumans. I went ahead and got these. I got these on Commando Soul to make the soles different as well. And just to give you an idea of, you know, how my thinking progressed at the time, it's like, okay, once you get these two, there's literally no need for any other fuzzy brown boot, right? These Truman boots in Java Wax Flesh, they've been worn hard and they've also been conditioned with Birchie's boot wax. They derive their primary ingredient 
from birch tree tar, which makes it brown again and also heavily, heavily conditions and protects the boot. And so I restored the waxed flesh look. Now I use these as work boots now. They've never been resold. They're incredible. They're workhorses. They never quit on you. Horween actually has a blog post that they posted in 2009 and it's about wax flesh and I didn't know this but it says that wax flesh actually has three names it's called wax flesh or French waxed calf or huntsman I've never heard it referred to as huntsman before which is interesting at the time they said this leather sees relatively little production also very surprising to hear but Truman kind of put wax flesh on the map. I didn't learn about wax flesh from Alden, which at the time I considered to be like, you know, the apex of boot making. Truman really came along and introduced a lot of leathers to the boot community that I otherwise wasn't familiar with. So Truman did a really good job bringing wax flesh, I think, to the forefront. This point that I'm about to drop here is something that, I've, that I suspected as soon as I got these. As soon as I got these Java wax flesh in, I said, you know what? This smells exactly like Chrome XL, and here's why. This leather is made almost exactly the same way as our Chrome XL. Instead, we finish it on the flesh or suede side. So there you go. The colors, waxes, seals, and lays the nap of the flesh flat. So yeah, so kudos to Truman for picking up on this wax flesh and really running with it. All right, so next up is an old classic favorite of mine. This is the vintage indie boot. I got this from Leather Soul Hawaii and this is in a leather that they call vintage nubuck otherwise known as smooth chamois. Now there's a couple shops that currently run a similar indie and in my opinion this is just the best indie. I mean it looks old even when it's brand new because of the so this is the rough outside of the chamois so this is basically the other side I think I think that's how this works. I wouldn't know, first off, both of these Aldens are lined, so I can't see the reverse side of this leather, but I assume that it's something like this. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, so this is the Smooth Chamois, otherwise known as a Vintage Nubuck. That's what Leather Soul Hawaii calls it. Yeah, it's a Nubuck for all intents and purposes. It's It's got various drab Nubuck sort of areas through it, and then the parts that, that see a lot of contact with like, say, the other boot when you're walking or with a chair or whatever, whatever you scrape it against, it gets smooth. And uh, so I've never conditioned these. I've had these almost seven years, I think, and never conditioned them. Easily one of my favorite pairs of boots. Just a classic, one of the sweetest pairs of boots I've ever owned. They do look like they're built for adventure. They've got the Alden a half commando sole on there. Starting to separate a little bit there, but nothing that I'm too worried about. I think this is the boot that Indiana Jones should have actually worn, not the 405. <laughs> All right, so next up is going to be the Grant Stone Edward boot. And this is in Tobacco Waxy Commander. Uh, a new boot collector I don't think would be able to justify both these, the Alden Roy boot in Reverse Tobacco Chamois, as well as the Waxy Commander. However, this waxy commander is actually a heavily waxed micro suede and it definitely leans more on the waxier feel compared to the chamois. The chamois has more of an oily feel. Not to mention the nap on the waxy commander is not as hairy, it's not as prominent, it's not as textured. Like I said, it is like a suede and so as it gets roughed up it feels more like the consistency of a suede than a rough out. Rough out and suedes are obviously different. Here we have here we have the Grant Stone Diesel Boot in Coffee Suede. Just a brilliant pair of boots right here. Simple, but tremendous at the same time. Yeah, you can see the suede next to the Waxy Commander, next to the Chamois. They're all pretty different. I mean, they're all technically like the same color and they're all textured brown boots, but at the same time, the leather itself is different. This is where I get into talking about how like like to an advanced leather collector, I would say, the tannage of the leather, not so much the color, matters more. The tannages on all three of these are just completely different. To the lay person, they might all think, oh, that's the same boot, that's the same thing, but it's not. Here I'm feeling wax, here I'm feeling like a carpety, velvety 
suede and here I'm feeling an oily rough out. They're completely different. They're in completely different universes. When you really get down to it, when you really understand leather, then this really becomes apparent. And I'll get some outside shots as well. I just got a new lens for my Nokia that allows me to get some up close shots. So I'll be posting those. I'll get pictures, up close pictures of all of these. So this Edward boot has really come a long way. I'm really happy with it. It's got really nice creasing along the vamp there and really exposed its character, especially on the quarters, especially on the areas where the boot like touches the other boot, like when I walk in, things like that. And in there, I've got some Horween waxed flesh kilties oh. from my friend Jimmy at Trinity Handmade, otherwise known as Nerdin with Boots on Instagram. So yeah, I think I think these kilties really set this makeup on fire. Really makes them really makes them look good. Actually, if I was gonna compare these, I I would say that the Smooth Chamois and the Tobacco Waxy Commander are gonna be kind of the kind of close. Like the Chamois has like sort of the oily feel of the reverse tobacco chamois, but at the same time, it's got a more similar appearance to the tobacco wax commander from Stead. Little known fact is Stead and Horween, they're sort of known as like the trailblazers in the uh, leather tanning industry. I think Horween sends their excess hides to Stead. So I think they have sort of a trade collaboration happening sometimes. So sometimes some of the hides that you get from Stead were originally in possession of Horween. I think that's kind of interesting. So they're, they're more or less working with the same material. They just have completely different ways of tanning their hides and it becomes very apparent. The more you're around Horween, the more you're around Stead leathers, the more you start to notice like, wow, they're both amazing in their own right, but they're both very, very different. More on these diesels in coffee suede. I got three colors in this just because I loved the look. They're so lightweight. I talk about this till I'm blue in the face. I'm not a sneaker guy. I do not like sneakers. I don't like how they look. I don't like how they feel. But I have to say Vibram has done a really good job with their wedge soles and they're very high density, very comfortable, believe it or not. I wouldn't have thought so otherwise, but they are. And uh, so, I think Grant Stone did a really good job on this makeup. So we've got the split reverse welt, otherwise known as a storm welt, 360 degrees. The laces are from Generation Laces uh, in olive. I think they look really good against, I think olive laces always look good against brown. I love marrying up earthy tones. We've got a 100% vegetable tanned uh, leather bend insole and midsole and then this Vibram wedge sole. One of the easiest boots in this lineup to wear. I really love these, especially in the summer. In the summer when it's hot, I love a wedge sole because it's so lightweight. Because you know, when it's hot out, you're walking around, you don't want to necessarily be you know, lugging along in a, in a really toothy, heavy lug commando sole or a leather sole. The leather sole is my favorite, but that said, I'm not always in the mood to wear a really heavy boot in the summertime. Sometimes it's just so hot and I just want something light. That's where something like this comes into play. That's the role that that will fill. Next up, we've got, this is my first pair of Parkhurst. These are my Parkhurst Richmond boots in Ray's Reverse Waxed Mohawk. Now that is a mouthful right there. This is gonna be Mohawk leather. Mohawk is a flesh out suede, tanned in order to highlight the natural vein marks on the reverse side of the skin. Smooth Waxy Mohawk is a comfortable and chunky casual leather with a wax impregnation to further enhance the natural textures of the leather. Offers a rugged outdoor appearance. I was wanting to buy a pair of Parkers for a while and when I saw these I was like, yep, these are the ones. Andrew really nailed it with this design. I threw in some rawhide leather laces in there. It's got a Ridgeway sole, totally brilliant. Totally fits into my collection. It, it totally fills its own niche spot there. So the Mohawk is probably Stead's version of the chamois, I would say. That's the closest Stead is gonna get to chamois. It's more on the waxy side. Stead seems to lean more towards waxes and Horween leans more into the oils, I found. I think that these are the same exact cuts of leather, the same exact layers. They're both brown rough outs, right? 
Stead just imbued more waxes into theirs and Horween imbued more oils into theirs. And so there you have it. Ray's Reverse Waxed Mohawk. Definitely has a carpety feel, more of a suede feel. A little bit more nappy than the Smooth Chamois or the Wax Commander here. Here we have Waxy Commander and Ray's Reverse Waxed Mohawk. There you go, folks. Same tannery, both heavily waxed. The Waxy Commander is gonna be more of a suede. Ray's Reverse Wax Mohawk is gonna be more of a rough out. Next up are gonna be the Bordon Tucano boots in dark brown waxy they call it. So this is a mystery tannery. I still don't know where this is from. It's located in Italy, wherever it is. To me, it feels very much like a waxy commander. In fact, the waxy commander lost its wax quicker than this stuff does. This stuff, whatever this is, seems to hold on to its waxy finish a little bit more strongly. Now, that, that said, Given time and given enough wear, this will start to expose more texture underneath. I do think that this leather that Bordon is using most closely matches the Waxy Commander from Stead. Just a really, really good boot. Check out Bordon boots. They do a, a superb job on their makeups and they're new and there's zero waste with that company. You throw in your pre-order for a batch whenever the batch is coming around and he makes them and no leather gets wasted. I like that. I think that's awesome. Working with leather now, I know that I personally hate to see any scrap of leather go to waste. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be an, sort of an honorable mention. So these are my, my NYX slash Nobleman's Apothecary swashbuckler boot. This is a heavy, heavy boot. This is the heaviest of all the boots that you see in front of you. Wow, it is, wow. Overbuilt, NYX does a really good job with their work boots. We've got the Packer heel back here, uh, super thick, a lot of arch support, which was new to me. And this technically, so I'm, I'm calling this an honorable mention because this isn't actually, I mean, it's technically brown, but it's not dyed brown. It's actually natural. So we've got natural Horween wax flesh here, and then the smooth side of the wax flesh on the quarter here and on the back heel stay. And uh, this is just a hell of a workhorse of a boot. We've got all brass eyelets, three brass speed hooks, and a brass eye at the top. Yeah, I'm super super happy that Angel chose to run these. Now this, this Horween wax flesh that they used is, is kind of resilient. It's not showing its patina as quickly as I was going, as I was expecting it to. But uh, yeah, so it's double stitched down welt, 260 degrees on a Vibram 700 sole. Angel did a fantastic job designing these. And then in there we've got his own Nobleman's Apothecary natural wax flesh kilties in there. That's one hell of a makeup. He also has another one in in black leather. Go check out Nobleman's Apothecary. He's always doing cool collabs like this. I'm very happy to have these in my rotation. This is my first and only pair of NYX, and they are workhorses. When I put these on, I feel like a cowboy. I love them. They're so hardy. They're so, like, you will never wear through that heel. You could hike a thousand miles, 10,000 miles in those. You will never wear through that heel. And not to mention the shank in there. The shank is so prominent that it actually protrudes. I don't know if the camera can capture that, but yeah. Super, super hardy pair of boots, overbuilt, overdesigned killers. Like I said, I need to be in the mood to wear these because they're definitely manlier than I am. <laughs> Last but not least, we've got the Grant Stone Brass Boot in Earth Waxy Commander. Holy crap. I really, really love this pair of boots. People ask me like, hey, What's a good pair, what's the most badass pair of boots on the Grant Stone website right now? I'm like, these. The Grant Stone Brass Boot and Earth Waxy Commander. Holy. Let's compare those. So we've got the new Grant Stone Floyd last. We're gonna have raised walls in the vamp here. It's gonna be a hand stitch mock toe. Five antique brass eyelets, two speed hooks. We've got wax cotton lace in here. We've got the Grant Stone proprietary lug commando sole. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Stead's waxy commander, a different color of waxy commander compared to the Edward here. The Edward is tobacco. The brass boot is in earth, very different. The tobacco is a lot lighter, more of a mid-brown. 
The earth is so dark it almost looks black in certain lights. It's a dark chocolate brown. If I had to assign a percentage to this dark chocolate, I would call it a 90% dark chocolate. Maybe even more. My friend on Instagram, Take O, check out his account. He's the guy that inspired me to get these. So initially I thought, oh, I'm not gonna get these brass boots because I have these indies right here. And the indies, in my opinion, check that box. But as you can see, and I'll get shots of these next to each other outside, they're the same spirit in a lot of senses. They check a lot of the same boxes, but they are not the same boot, not even a little bit. So first off, we've got Lug Commando Soul versus Alden calls that a Commando Soul, but it's not nearly as toothy as, as the brass boot. Secondly, the Alden True Balance toe is gonna to be unstructured, collapses over time. The Grant Stone Brass Boot has a structured, lot more volume in that toe box there. The stitching design on both are different. The Alden Indy is gonna be machine stitched. The Brass Boot is hand stitched, not to mention the Smooth Chamois is a lot lighter of a color than the Earth Waxy Commander. Both have a 360 degree storm welt i.e. split reverse welt, though I think that Grant Stone does a better job on their welt finishing than Alden does. Also, the joint welts on the Alden, I could clearly, within seconds, pick out the joint welt. On the Grant Stones, very difficult to see it, but it's there. It's very difficult to see, though. That's how skilled these uh, the Grant Stone people are. Not to mention, I, you know, I love the antique contrasting antique sole on the Vintage Indy, but I think the Grant Stone vegetable tan insole and midsole. So there's a natural layer and then there's like a reddish, yeah, like a cherry layer. It's just brilliant. The insole is is a darker is a darker color compared to the midsole. So just a brilliant pair of boots. Finally, a very honorable mention to these. So these are not boots and they're more amber than brown, but since I talked about the natural wax flesh, I might as well throw these in here. So these are my Mark Albert shoes, derbies on a Christie Wedge Sole. I got these from Mark Alberts uh, a few years ago, I think, a couple years ago at least. And uh, these are my favorite kick around derbies to just sort of wear around. I like to wear these especially with shorts in the summertime. If I'm wearing shorts and no show socks, this, these are my go-to. So this is gonna be in Tasman's Amber Rough Out. And this is just an incredible pair of shoes. 360 degree Goodyear welt, plain toe. The Nap on the rough out is so pronounced, even more pronounced than my reverse tobacco chamois Alden Roy boots. So I just figured I'd throw these in here because they're also brown, they're also fuzzy. So that'll do it for now. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, what do you think about all these fuzzy brown boots? Which pair is your favorite? Do you own any of these? If so, uh, what are your experiences with them? So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. You can follow me on Instagram. My username is LV. Anyways, stay tuned because I got a lot more boot videos coming up.